I'm TirTapTap, -tap, and it's November. That means it's time for the Greek mythology events? Okay, so the seasonal events thing was always gonna run a little bit dry. But, it is now time for ancient Greek stuff. So, this is your video on how to get all of the hidden fish. First thing that we do, every single event, go to the little palette menu, buy this. Buy the die first, it's the cheapest and the most important. This one's the die. Then we get the theme. There's always fish and stuff that require all of these, which we'll get to in just a sec. Most importantly, the die unlocks the hermit crab. So we go in here, get the hermit crab. There he is. A fine boy. So this event works much like prior events. Um, there is a written guide on my website, sirtapdab.com, that goes through all of the both the broad strokes and the individual unlocks. In fact, we're gonna pop that on screen right now. So, to begin, we're gonna just go through the hidden fish. Um, just quick note, the, there's a quest here to unlock the big fish, as always, and there's a quest here to get the expand items, as always. The unlock requirements for those are just spelled out. Um, I'll go through them at the end, just in case, to kind of make things clearer. But first, let's go to the managed fish. And just as a little call out, um, if my guides and stuff help you out, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash their tap tap. Um, any do dollar amount you can give helps me out, helps me make videos, helps me buy new equipment. I really need to get a new CPU and stuff, for example, this year. I'm gonna be shopping Black Friday for that crap. Um, you can also join as a Twitch sub on my Twitch channel, or um, there's also a PayPal option on my website. It's uh, pretty much at the top of my main guide, so check that out if you would. Like I said, even a buck a month helps a lot. You can also be a YouTube member now and click that weird join button. That's what that's for. Anyway, onto the fish. Aquarius Tetra. I'm just going to go through all the fish just to kind of review them. Um, not really a fan of just shoving fish and things. Not my favorite event, but there are, I think the designs are better than the usual shoving fish inside things. Things. Um, Cupid Puffer, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, cast delicious food five times with Aquarius Tetra in the tank. So that is the um, the fish skill, just kind of basically that means watch five ads so you can recast your skills. Pretty easy one. Cerberus so Seahorse, not hidden. He's he's a fine boy. Uh, I like some of the, the more creative ones here. Triple heads on there. At least it's not the same thing, just reskinned. Cupid Puffer, I... Does anyone like cupids? Does, I'm sorry, but... Uh, Medusa Axolotl. I actually like this guy a lot. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at those teeth. Um, for this boy, you will need... Equip the temple die. Again, always do that. Then you're going to need to share five photos of the hidden Dumbo octopus, which is behind the clam farm, which... Um, I have not actually found yet, but I'm gonna find it right now. There it is! Easy enough, it's even animated. So they made it very easy to find now. Uh, does that say share? Yeah, it's share. Whatever, I won't unlock it now in front of you. You get... <clears throat> I like him taking a sip. That's cute. Um, back to the event fish. That's the Medusa. Hades octopus. <laughs> very... <laughs> Evocative of a certain representation of Hades, I might note, but it's eh, fine. Um, watch 15 ads for the event currency. That's just click the add button at the top of the event tab, basically. You'll get it. That's one of the better ways to get currency. The, the main way to play the events really is to just constantly cast the Kermit Crab, which requires watching ads, and get the bonus uh, currency, which also requires watching ads. Who'd have thunk it? Nyx Jellyfish, I really like this design. Not a hidden fish, but just reached level 5 of the Hermit Crab. I'm probably going to be getting quite a few of these because it's really easy to get. Really goes well with last month's uh, Space Fish, too. That would probably be my favorite one of the uh, set here. Zeus Kraken. I assume these are smaller or something, but these aren't even the biggest fish. Um, just tap 100 bubbles above the Hades Octopus. So what that means is you got to put the Hades Octopus in the tank, and um, during events, these little bubbles appear over their heads that have the candy, so you gotta do that a hundred times. I always get questions about that. <laughs> simple, simple stuff, but hey. 
clarity and all that. Hermes Frog. Are you infringing upon my copyrights? Oh, hey, good time to... Um, I've actually been thinking about adding to my Patreon for my $10. Um, reading, like, a little short blurb, like, a paragraph or less in, like, a monthly video or at the end of a video or something. So, like, people could pay 10 bucks to have me say something in my MLG frog voice, non-infringing frog voice. Um, you know, my awful Australian Gordon Ramsay impersonator voice, you know, something like that. Um, if you're interested in something like that, uh, let me know in the comments, I guess, or if you're in your existing Patreon. Um, let me know. I'm just trying to brainstorm stuff. Anyway, collect 500 sea urchins. That's from the, um, that's from the farm tab. Simple enough. Um, you will need to unlock the farm, which hopefully you already have. Um, but yeah, let's just go here. You know, wait a long time, get more sea urchins. There you go. Then we go to the Minotaur's Toad. I thought this was a typo when Farmer, um, Farmer Lesbian does a great job on the subreddit accumulating all the data and stuff, even like super crazy early, um, before me usually even. Um, I, I thought she made a typo, but no, it's called Minotaur's Toad, okay. Maybe it's the Minotaur's Toad, like it's a pet toad. Anyway, not hidden, you Song of the Moon 15 times. With Nyx Jellyfish in the tank, that's kind of unclear because I really don't know why they can't hire like an English speaking person. like. Literally anyone, like uh, an intern, <laughs> like hire me, honestly. I've reached out to them. I've been like, hey, I could help you out with this stuff, but no, I've never gotten any response. I guess if you're talking to them on Facebook or stuff, suggest like, hey, get an editor. There's this guy, Sir Tap Tap. He's kind of weird and has a stupid YouTube channel, but maybe he could help edit your uh, English and stuff, you know, for a price. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna just give them stuff, but hey, talk, talk to me. Argo Turtle, create five Hermes frogs, not hidden. I, I kind of like, I kind of like the design on this one. I'm not a big fan of just stuffing fish and things, but this is kind of like, this is kind of interesting. I like the big Tyreme on that. I learned that those are called that from uh, Age of Empires 2. Take that, school. Ares Monk Seal. Use 500 crab materials. Um, that means use, yeah, um, you can use them making fusion fish in this tab you can use them buying expand items in this tab oh by the way there are new Halloween decorations after Halloween um, in this tab they all cost pearls unfortunately um, but hey it's still cool I'm, I'm okay with Halloween all year round so I'm not too fussed about it but I do wish they would give us some that cost you know <laughs> let me burn some of this seaweed man um, so you can burn them in the fish tab, the expand tab, or you can get the hiding fish. I hate these things. It's just Gashapon, and I hate Gashapon. But, yeah. Um, these aren't new, by the way. It says they're new. These are from the previous thing. Um, it's the same It's the same list as before. Which I apparently didn't even bother touching at all. So yeah, just use 500 of those things, and you will get... Uh, where was it? You will get the seal. Hera Dolphin. I'm getting like a mm, My Little Mermaid. That's that's not what it's called. <laughs> the um, what what is it called? The mermaid thing from Disney. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Keep focusing on Argo Turtle through the camera for five minutes. So that just means, um, again, awkward phrasing, but you kind of get the point. Just go to a camera. Um, tap on the Argo Turtle, this is not the Argo Turtle, and just leave it sitting there for a few minutes. I miss when these things were actually hidden, like... <laughs> that that used to be a hidden unlock, and I mean, it was kind of weird, but I miss, like, everyone racing to figure out the unlocks. They haven't had too many interesting unlocks lately, or like, hidden ones that, like, we struggle to find. <laughs> Athena Ray. I... <laughs> I like the little centurion. What is that? A frog? He's got. He's. Is that a penguin? Oh, I think that's a penguin. A penguin? Yeah, it's a penguin. I couldn't tell what the be from the face because it's like ten pixels. But yes, that's cute. Temple whale. So the whales are pretty much always the same in these. Um, you're gonna need to buy one of each fish above the whale in the list. 
does not include the uh, in-app purchase fish, and you're going to need to buy 100 total fish from the current event, from the Greek event. Uh, sometimes it's 80, but this time it's 100, I guess. He looks like a Polly Pocket, actually. <laughs> I think he's alright as far as just literally just a whale with stuff on it. He's a little bit better than that because he's kind of wavy um, and cloudy. I kind of like the design of the thing, but we have a lot of whales that are just thing on back of whale, don't we? Griffin! That is the big boy. That is the reward for completing the event quest. And there's no weird hidden extra unlock that, like there was for Fenrir with the Halloween thing. That was dumb. Um, but yeah, just complete the event quest. And then you can only buy one, but it costs 100,000 currency. And baby Pegasus... My little Pegasus, my little Pegasus. Is um, the in-app purchase thing. Not required for anything else. So, quick look at the... Um, this is how you get the expand items. The expand items feature heavily in the quest. So you'll need to actually go through these pretty quickly. Um, I love the copy here. This item can be decorated in the expansion. Um, I was hoping Flaro Games would kind of clear that up, but I, I don't know. Hopefully that hires somebody. Like I said, talk talk to me, baby. Um, but yeah, just equip the Temple Die. We already did that. Open Mystery Chest. Easy enough. Create five Cupid Pupper. Puffer. You can make five Cupid Puppers if you want. I'm surprised there isn't a Cupid Pupper, actually. That, that's what they usually make the in-app purchase fish. Complete three-day daily mission. Create five berries monk seal. These are actually all very simple this time, actually. Not really a problem. Um, the event quest. I have this here. These are also not really hidden, but just create three Aquarius Tetra, just to kind of give you an idea of what you'll need to do. Place one pillar foundation. Place five pillars on pillar foundation. Um, and then you place uh, a pillar volute atop a pillar. So those are all items that you get from this menu. You get four pillars when you complete this one, by the way. So that is enough, I believe, to um, place the thing. So you'll make basically a little gazebo, a little Greek gazebo. And there you go. Um, for the third one, it's called Creature Friends. You need to buy three Server Seahorse, three Medusa Axolotl, and three Minotaurs Toads. Um, next one's called Pray for Wish. That's that's really what it's called. Again, English, not strong suit. <laughs> Share a photo of the fountain expand item. Again, you're gonna need to do the fountain, the expand quest first. Then you need to tap 100 bubbles from the Hera Dolphins. Best way to do that, just have three or four Hera Dolphin and nothing else in your tank. And just kind of watch them for a while. You'll get it eventually. They're not the most fun unlocks. And I'm surprised how often they do them, but whatever. Um, and the final one, you need to create five Athena Rays and five Temple Whales. Um, important note on the ones that say buy or create a new thing, you have to unlock that step. So until you've unlocked the fifth step, don't make the Athena Rays or the Temple Whales um, because you will screw yourself out of progress. Um, say I, you know, I'm on step one and I make five Temple Whales right now. When I get to step five, I will have to make five Temple Whales again. So do these as soon as you can. Um, you can do the first one super quick, you can do the second one as soon as you've completed the third quest here. Um, and then it's, you know, you can track the progress. It's not too complicated, but uh, you can spend a huge amount of currency um, if you do it the wrong way. In fact, what does the whale cost? 18,000. You can spend almost 100,000 candies if you buy those whales too early. So. Be careful about that. I, I really wish they would stop doing that because, like, it's super simple to just be like, hey, own five temple whales instead of, like, create five new ones. But I don't know. They like doing it like that. So that's just what we're going to get, I guess. Um, that is pretty much the event. Um, Halloween event is still on. Man, this menu gets laggy. Halloween event is still on, probably until Christmas. I would say this event will probably continue until New Year's, um, and the Halloween event is probably going to continue until sometime in December when the Halloween event, or the Christmas event starts up. They also released, um, where was that? They released a 
big thing. Yeah, the event schedule. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, I put it on my website. Um, it's got all the different events that we're going to have next year. So there's a few new ones. There's a few repeats. We're going to have Happy New Year's 2007. Uh, there's going to be an event every month, which I've been calling for that for so long, haven't I? Finally get it. Huh. I, I guess I didn't save my Halloween progress. Oh well, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't really care. I will say, I, I've pretty much totally stopped playing. Um, I really just make the guides. I'm looking forward to Abyssrium Pole. I hope it... I hope it's as good as its launch as Abyssrium 1 was at its launch. That was great. But <laughs> over time, the game's really grown me down, and I don't really mess with it. I don't really play a lot of mobile stuff anymore. I pretty much just play Azure Lane. Um, I play a little bit of Pokemon Masters, but it's... It's kind of rough, too, frankly. <laughs> I, I stopped making videos for it. But they're trying to improve it. Anyway, that's a little off topic. Um, so, that is the Greek event. As always, check out sirtapdep.com for the written guides um, and a bunch of other articles I do. Um, you can also find a link to our Discord. That is a big chat app that we all chat in. Um, lots of cool people in the Discord. Big shout outs to our mods. Also, big shout outs to all of my Patreons and my Twitch subs and everyone that pays and supports me or just shares my content. If you can't pay, I totally understand that, but uh, leaving a like, a comment, and sharing a video help a lot. Um, but uh, if you can't pay, that, that Patreon button, links in the description always. And huge thanks to anyone that can. Um, yeah, that's the video. Hit that stupid bell icon, I guess, because I hate it, but also because it notifies you of things. Because why would you subscribe to somebody and want to hear their things? That doesn't make sense. You gotta click the bell. That's... that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon, and any relevant links to the game.